Now, the state governor, Shea Markin, has pledged to use technology to improve efficiency, our transparency and poverty reduction. He unveiled a 20-year development plan, agenda 2040 for your state, and a five-year medium plan framework during our stakeholders' consultative and engagement meeting on the 2025 budget proposal. Authorities aim to gather feedback and realign Markin Day's agenda to align with economic realities in an ever-changing economic landscape. What do you think will make this much more better for you in terms of managing the fiscal activities of your state? And because we have actually been taking what they've been bringing forward to consideration, that is why you always see the turn up every year being very, very good. So, this is a round of applause for Governor Sheba Kinde. It is not just here in the Bado Zone that we do it, we will also do it in Oyo Zone, in the Bomoksha Zone, in the Barapa Zone in Okiogun 1, Okiogun 2, and also in the greater city. So that means that we take all this into consideration. And we don't just take it and put it like that. Each uh, outcome, so what you get from each uh, location, we send it to the different MDAs that are concerned. Every cover in our budget serves to improve the lives of the people, foster infrastructure, development, enhance quality of education, improve healthcare services, and create an enabling environment for businesses to thrive. As the chairman of the Committee on Finance, Appropriation, and State Economic Planning, I want to assure the good people of Royal State that the House of Assembly is fully committed to overseeing a budgetary process that is, that is prudent, equitable, and geared towards addressing the needs of our people. The forum featured representatives from traditional institutions, women and children, rights advocates, and uh, persons with disabilities, uh, market leaders, uh, community development stations, and development partners presenting their perspectives. Sir, we want you to please, as I've heard, all inclusive, the inclusivity should please involve some of us that are equally educated and I equally have many things to offer. We were never approached for many things, but I am begging on behalf of all members of the Tragedy Council. Majorly, since a lot of us are entrepreneurs, we discovered that we have issues with capital. There is no business without capital. We need to have access to more capital so that we can increase the, um, the kind of business we do and we can have more. We'd also like to say that it's so difficult to get loans in our state, especially because of the documentation. You know, a lot of things that are required, most of these women don't have it. So we'd also like to ask that you would help us with um, easy access to loans for women and then the inflation is also a major problem for us. So we'd like to see that it should please your excellency, help us see how we can reduce that. Our educational sectors, governor, you need to visit all these places. It's as good, we, we, it is, um, it is, we need renovations in our hostels, in our classes. We need first aid boxes. We need as many good things as possible. The food allowances to be increased. And as well, the Omnitutu bus, this one is the last one, I'm sorry. The Omnitutu bus, we want it accessible for persons with disabilities. The Governor of your state is promising a unique platform for input into the 2025 budget implementation and a stronger leadership system uh, using data, logic and science to improve the lives of the people. It's a time that calls for strong leadership and tough decisions. Uh, but we must remain empathetic to the plight of our people. And this is why we're always looking for ways and means to make things easier for our people. Uh, recently, the House of Assembly, they worked really hard to pass the presumptive uh, tax uh, bill. Yes, government needs money. But we said, look, we're not going to get this money by becoming enemies of the poor. Even though I'll be signing the bill into law, we will suspend the implementation. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.